Come on, Roger. Roger said, it's Black History Month or what up in here? Dr. King said he wanted to see all of us come together. You're going to leave the white brother out. Come on. You, come on. You and Matt, like, come on now. This is, come on. What's going on here? Y'all clap for Roger. One of my most faithful men. Come on, Roger. Say something, Roger. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> Roger said, I don't need nothing. Great morning, my family. Today we're going to go to Ephesians 4, 26, 27. We'll be reading out a New American Standard Bible. Be angry, and yet do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. And do not give the devil an opportunity. Many people see me as calm, cool, and collective. Some may say I have a pragmatic personality, but truth be told, I have dealt with anger issues most of my life. Some of you may be able to relate to that. If you relate to that, look at your neighbor and just smile and nod. You don't have to bump them. But you know, I've been dealing with anger issues most of my life. But by the grace of God, I have grown spiritually and emotionally to the point to where I could sometimes soar like an eagle over my anger. But sometimes, <laughs> just sometimes, is that little thing, that little itty bitty thing that'll set me over the edge. Just like when I'm driving, what some of you right now are thinking about on the way here. Yes. Just like when I'm driving, and then now I'm no longer soaring like an eagle, but I could be quacking like a duck. How can he cut me off like that? Quack, quack, quack. Or how about when your boss disrespects you, or possibly your spouse, or your children? How can they disrespect me like that? Quack. Quack, you know, quack. Many of us have dealt with anger issues. This is a serious thing. This leads me to the title of my message is check yourself before you wreck yourself. Let's go back to that awesome Ephesians text, 4, 26, 27, New American Standard Bible. Let's break this down. The A clause, be angry. Now, if I simply just stop right there, I could send a wrong message. Be angry. End of sermon. Some of you may think that could be coming off sarcastically. But the Apostle Paul was talking to the church of Ephesus. Be angry, not out of sarcasm, but you have the right to be angry. Roger. Clap for Roger, guys. Hey, Roger, don't get angry at me right now. Praise God. Hey, hey, Roger was calm, cool, and collective, wasn't he? Good stuff, Roger. I see Roger doing some small group stuff possibly too, where he's just talking like, look, this is real. He's not scared to speak. Good diction. I don't know if that's like a Sunday morning kind of thing. Roger's a deacon here and uh, one of our best too, by the way, faithful. Every man, I love him. And... Uh, and Roger, I didn't know you had that much to say. I love it. You were excellent. Uh, very good. Again, I can see you doing some small group things, particularly with a group of men dealing with that anger stuff. And I can see you relating in a major way. All right. I may have one more. In